Hello creative people, so happy to see you here. Well, today we are going to do some doodling, watercolor and ink and make this pretty thing. Hope you're up for it. Let's begin. I'm Miriam, an artist from Denmark. My aim is to help you grow as an artist and I'll be growing with you in planning lessons and teaching in the different subjects concerning watercolor and the medium used with it. A warm welcome to you. To begin with, we are going to sketch in a leaf and I do that with a pencil drawing uh, and I have just found a leaf on Pinterest that I like and you can check that out, out as well. Uh, there are many different kinds of leaves so pick one that you think is very pretty. I also like that top one so yeah, you just have to decide which one suits you and what you want to, uh, how you want your leaf to look. And that will make this painting a very personal painting as well, if you do that. And then I, I found my leaf and I just sketched it in with a pencil. I'm just drawing it in very lightly. Take your time with it, don't have to rush, um, and just enjoy the whole process. It's time to be creative, so this kind of painting you, uh, you just follow your intuition and yeah. And now it's time to find some colors that you like. And I've just made this color swatch to see what kind of colors uh, I think are pretty together. And I tried out many different colors, com color combinations. And I'm going with three colors for this painting so it won't get too busy. But it's up to you. You could choose primary color, a red, a blue and a yellow. Or you can go with a green, a red, and a bluish. Um, it's up to you uh, what you feel like and your favorite colors. And then I just begin to paint in my colors. This is, uh, I think this one is called Moon Glow. And I just go in and make random circles and yeah, just begin to decorate the inside of the leaves. We are not going outside our sketch or our pencil drawing uh, because we want the area around the leaf to be white. And that's also because we're going to put in a quote later on. So, And here I continue with the potter's pink that I chose. I chose uh, moon glow, potter's pink and olive green I think it was. I really felt like these three colors were so pretty. And green is one of my favorite colors, so of course there had to be a green. <laughs> yeah, but yes, if you have a particular color combination that you love, use that. That will make it a painting that you like. So, and I just continue to paint in different forms. And you could make stripes as well and dots. Uh, yeah whatever comes to mind we're going to go in with some ink pens uh, later on um, so we are going to use those as well to make marks but you can do it as well with the paint and i just yeah go around the painting and see where uh, i want things to be and if you make a uh, these long lines it uh, looks like there's a bit of move, movement down the leaf so and I also vary the strength of the color I'm putting on the paper I want some uh, places to be very dark and some to be quite light and then I have my gold color and I'm just putting some of that in uh, here I put it on top of the green um, and this was this will look very nice when the light hits the paper uh, when the painting is finished. So yeah, there had to be some gold, and I really love gold. So. 
And then just continue to decorate your leaf. And it can be a bit difficult at this point to see what it would end uh, up looking like. So how much color are you going to put on the paper and so on. That's, yeah, that can be a bit difficult. And now we're going to write in a quote. And you can write in if you have a favorite quote. Uh, I just found a few examples here that can be used, but um, also go to Google or Pinterest and find some nice quotes you want to put into your painting. And then I write it in with my pencil. And then I have found all my ink pens and they are all waterproof. That's quite important because sometimes you want to go in afterward with some paint after you have uh, made the doodles with the ink pens. So they have to be waterproof. Now I have them in many different sizes from 0.1 to 0.9 I think or 8, something like that. And yeah, then you just begin to dool on the leaf. And here I begin with the stem of the leaf. I just want that to be nice and clear. And then I just begin to dool. And here I'm just making circles around some dots I painted before with my watercolors. And remember to get yourself a nice cup of coffee, coffee or tea while you're painting. So that's just nice and yeah, have a cozy time with this. It takes a little bit of time, but it's so creative and it's very relaxing, I think. And yeah, and sometimes when you are painting and you have to paint uh, things in a certain way, this is just really a, re a relief um, to paint like this because you don't have to think too much about things. So, and here I'm just making the stem in the middle of the leaf. So, and the further we go, the more visible the leaf will be when we put in the ink. And I just continue and I make lines and dots and circles. And again, if you need some doodle inspiration, go to Pinterest. It's full of good suggestions to how you can doodle on your leaf. So, but I would suggest that you try and find your own language, doodle language, if you can say that. And yeah, just go with it, what comes to mind. Um, yeah, and here we have a close up so you can see a little more what I'm doing. And it's very simple, uh, it's not hard. So, yeah, and you can also see I've gone in with a white ink pen on the darker areas of the leaf and that's why it's good to have some quite dark areas on the leaf because then the white is much more visible when you go in with a white ink pen and I don't know about you and if you have ever made something like this before but I really love to have uh, painting like this uh, put in frames and hanging on my walls as an encouragement or something I want to take in or something like that. And I really do think this, that this kind of painting really sparks your creativity because you have to think it perhaps in another way than you usually do. Anyways, I also would like to mention that I have a Patreon site and here you get ad-free videos and free sketches and yeah, lots of good stuff there. So if you want to check it out, it's Miriam Thompson Art Studio. I put a link down below. And I also, if you want to paint the same leaf uh, as I'm painting here, I have a sketch available on my Gumroad site 
and it's available for a very small amount. It does take some time to make these sketches, so yeah, I decided to charge a little amount for that as well. And now you can see here on the painting that uh, I've made an outline on the leaf as well. Um, and this just make the whole leaf much more visible. In the places where I have painting uh, hitting the outline of the leaf, I have not gone in with the ink pen. I just allowed the paint to be the outline. Now I'm going in with my gold pen and make some nice marks and dots and wherever I feel like it would look nice. So, and I really love this gold pen. It's from Faber Castell. Um, yeah. Then I continue working on the leaf, and I just felt like the straw, uh, the color had to be a bit stronger here. So I go in with some paint, uh, the olive paint. Um, and that's why it's so good to. To use waterproof pens, it's quite important when you are working like this. Now I just go in with some of the rose paint, uh, where I just think there needs a little bit of oomph. <laughs> Funny word. Uh, yeah, it's sort of all the way through the painting. It's just like oh, I think it needs a little bit of this here, or I think it needs a little bit of this here. And I do believe that you can use this when you are making a more realistic painting, perhaps because you learn a lot from working with light colors and dark colors and where to put uh, things in to make uh, things look brighter and how to dull some things down and so on so I really believe that these paintings as well can uh, be a good journey if you normally paint more realistic perhaps this is just your thing so yeah then yeah you can just perhaps be inspired on how I do things so I also just want to mention here that I'm so excited because I have uh, joined something called Sketchbook Revival and uh, it's just amazing already so I will encourage you to check it out you get a lot of free lesson in many different things and I've just learned how to make my own sketchbook and I really I think that's just so amazing um, now I can make very personal sketchbooks and yeah, I just love the whole thing But anything creative with me. I just love it. I've always loved to knit as well and crochet and Paint with all kinds of paint and drawing and so on. So that's just my thing. So But I just wanted to mention it to you just in case you it could uh, Interest you uh, I'm still working on the leaf and yeah, going around seeing where I think there needs to be something. And now I'm going in with the putter's pink and making little dark dot, dots here and there. And you know, just sitting here and making this just makes me so happy. It sparks joy in my soul. I really love this. And I really do have many dreams for my art business. Uh, I dream about writing a book about art. I dream about having art courses here at my home. And yeah. And I don't know about you, how you're life course is but I would love to hear from you so if you feel like it write me down in the comments and just tell a little bit about your art journey that could be quite interesting now we just continue with the leaf and go around I want to fill out most of the leaf I don't want too many 
big white spots on the leaf. But if that's your style, then you like it to be a little less doodled, then by all means do that. We're trying to create something that we would, will be happy to look at if we put it in a frame on the wall. So that's the whole point with this. You could also paint in recognizable things in your on your leaf, like flowers and uh, small leaves. Or, yeah, it's completely up to you what you prefer and how you prefer to do your leaf. And now I think the painting is finished. I really love how it looks right now, and I've also gone in and put some ink on the quote so it will be more visible and you could do that in another color than black if you prefer that yes and here you see a more close-up of the leaf I think it's quite pretty and I really love every minute of it um, so creative and fun to make so yeah and here you can see the painting in a frame. I really love it. I hope you love it too. And I hope to see you again in another video. Bye for now.